what does it mean to be a witness for Allah? First of all, you say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. I testify there is no God except Allah. This is the beginning of the witnessing for Allah. Then, while you are acting as a bondsman to Allah, this is the practical witnessing. When a person sees you are praying, he knows that you believe in Allah, you believe in Muhammad, you believe in Islam, you believe in prayer. When you say to somebody, well, I don't take liquor, it's haram, what does it mean? Practically, you have testified for Islam. It's the practical testimony, the verbal testimony that I believe, I testify. I testify there's no Allah, there's no God except Allah, and there's the Muhammad wasallam is his messenger. This is your testimony, verbal testimony. Now, whole your action, whole your attitude, whole of your behavior as a Muslim is a practical testimony to the same. You demonstrate to the people what a Muslim is, what he is like, what are his priorities, what are his preferences, how does he live, how does he behave. Actually, this is the practical testimony. Shahada bil amal, shahada bil qal, verbal attestation. I testify, there is no God except Allah. I testify. That Muhammad is his messenger in born man. Amal to billahi, kamahu abi asmahi, wa sifatihi, wa kabil to jami ahkami, ikrarum bil lisani, wa tasdikum bil qal. I believe I have faith in Allah, as he is evident from all his names and attributes, and I accept all his commands, and I am making this testimony with my tongue, and I believe it from the core of my heart. Again, this is verbal testimony. Again, verbal testimony. Amantu billahi, wa malaikatihi, wa kutubihi, wa rusulihi, wal yawmi lakhari, wal qadri khairihi, wa sharrihi, min allahi ta'ala, wal baasi ba'd al qaf. I believe in Allah, in the angels, in the books, the resurrection, the day of judgment. I believe in the prophets, the books. This is verbal testimony. Now your attitude should testify to your verbal testimony. You are saying something else, doing something else. Your your actual testimony is against your verbal testimony. You are denying by your actions and deeds and behaviors what you are saying. This is the taxi. But if you are really acting according to the verbal testimony, it adds to your testimony that to the verbal testimony now you have the practical testimony. The third aspect, because human beings, although one aspect of the life of every human being is that he is an individual. But the other aspect is, he is part of a community. He belongs to a nation. He is a citizen of a state. So the testimony, actual tes testimony, practical testimony has two aspects. As an individual, behave as a Muslim, as an individual. And then you have to show to the people a model of what Islam is in social terms, in regarding economic system, regarding the state, regarding law, regarding the law of inheritance. We believe in it, don't practice it. We believe in such and such punishments, hudud. These are divinely revealed. But nowhere we can show to the humanity at large a model that here is an Islamic state. Here is a Muslim society. Come and see it. So we are lacking the collective testimony, practical testimony. There are still individuals who can be presented as models. This world is not absolutely empty from individuals. Individuals, good Muslims, having good behavior, having spiritual, you know, level, you can find. But actually what is deficient where we are lacking basically, that is the collective testimony, the practical testimony and in the form of a state, in the form of a society. Now it has been the purpose of all the messengers to testify for Allah, first of all verbally, then as individuals in their practical lives. That is why you find in the Quran, Wana awwalul muslimin, Wana awwalul muslimin. I am the first of all, I am Muslim. I am myself, 
I have myself surrendered to the will of Allah. I have myself submitted. I am myself a bondsman to Allah. Indi Abdullah, Atani al Kitab, our Jalani Nabiya. I am a bondsman to Allah. I don't claim to be superhuman. I am a human being. But I am a bondsman to Allah. Kala Indi Abdullah, Atani al Kitab, our Jalani Nabiya. So actually, you have to behave as a Muslim. And that was the duty of every messenger of Allah to convey the message. And that is verbal testimony. And then to produce before them a practical model of the teaching that they were preaching to the, to the people. And that was their practical testimony. And now actually, this institution of Messenger of Allah, it reaches zenith in the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it was his duty not only to, to present before the humanity at large an individual human model, but the model of a human Islamic state, model of Islamic polity, model of Islamic economic system. And that actually is the biggest task that was accomplished by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he succeeded to establish a society, and not only a society, a total state on the basis of Islam.